today i am going to show you how to make thread outside of a pipe in autocad so let's begin so here we can see that uh, we are in 2d because it is drafting and annotation so we should move to 3d click here 3d modeling and here you can see that our view is unsaved so from here go to sw isometric at first select circle and draw a circle and autocad is asking us for the radius of circle so put the radius uh, 2 inch so radius is 2 inch select circle again now take the radius 2.1 inch because of this the thickness of the pipe will be 0.2 inch now select press pull click here now take the height of pipe is 10 inch These are pipe of 10 inch height. So let's check it. Put a realistic. Now go to draw. From here select helix. <coughs> now click on center point. Now AutoCAD is asking us for the base radius. So put the base radius 2.1 inch. Now what again is asking us for the top radius. Also put the top radius 2.1 inch. Now from these options select turns. Now put the number of turns 8. Enter. Now specify helix height. So we want to move down downward. So put the value minus 2 inch. Now go to 2D wireframe. Now select circle again. Draw a circle of 0 0.05 inch. Now we need to rotate this circle. For rotating, select 3D rotate. 3D rotate. Now select the object. Enter. Before rotating, we need to on ortho mode. Now click here and rotate. Okay. Sometime it makes problem or it, it will take some time for you to rotate. Yes, it's rotated now from here select sweep so autocad is asking us to select sweep object to sweep so this is our object we need to sweep this one enter now select sweep path now select this one now check it in 3d realistic here we can see that uh, there is thread out, uh, there is uh, spring outside of the pipe. Now we need to subtract this spring from this pipe. Now from here select subtract. Now select object. Set first. Select the pipe. Enter. Now select this spring. Pretty sorry that means spring it is indicate if you select this 3d then pipe will be selected so select this 3d solid now enter now you can check this one that there is thread outside of the pipe so by this way we can easily make thread outside of a pipe so friends if you think this video is useful please subscribe my channel 
like comment and share my videos and if you have any question regarding autocad or solidworks you can ask that in the comment box thank you